Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. This is Tracy Una Wagner with Versatile Inspirations and the Lightworkers and Earth Angels Academy and Study Hall. And this is your weekly energy foresight for March 6th through the 12th. Welcome to the first full week in March. And for the month of March, we are working with the Paulina Tarot deck, and that is by Paulina Cassidy. And for this week, Monday through Sunday, March 6th through the 12th, the card that came through is Temperance. And the message for the card of Temperance is, what is going on with this card? We've had Temperance each month since the beginning of 2023. I'm going to go out on a limb here, but I think we are still struggling with the concept of temperance. After doing a bit of research on the word, I found another word that I think fits with what this energy is trying to relay to us, and that is prudence. And while it is very similar, I felt the meaning relayed a much deeper aspect, and that would be the idea of being wise in providing for our future. I could go on and on about this idea, but I think this is the importance of what temperance is trying to convey. As we move into our new world with our new self, we need to be mindful of what we want our future to include and to not bring those things that we do not want into our new future. Otherwise, What are we doing except repeating our old paradigm, which isn't what we are here to do? So this week, contemplate what you want to see your future look like, really and truly. Your resources, the economics, communities, self-reliance, paring down, frugality, simplicity, or complex issues. It can look like anything, but what does your heart of hearts tell you it should look like? Because it can be so. This temperance card, we have had it January, February, and now in March. When we get a certain card over and over again, it just indicates that we haven't met all of the energy's expectations. We haven't met all the requirements, if you would say, of what the card is trying to get us to understand. And so temperance is coming through yet again to let us know we still have to dig a little deeper. And when I came across this word prudence, that really kind of made me feel like Prudence had a little bit of difference to it, and that was what it was. Being mindful of what we want to see in our future. A lot of times we get so used to how we're doing things that we go, okay, we're having a new future, we're having a new world, we're having a new self, but we still continue to go along doing the exact same things, expecting different results but yet doing the same things. And we wonder why nothing changes. Why hasn't this card stopped coming through? (laughs) I think that's the whole point is that we really need to um, take a moment to really analyze what is it that we want to see in our new world? What are we being clear? If we're not being clear, we're sending mixed signals. If we're not acting upon the ideas in which we want to see in our new world and we want to see in our new self if we're not acting on those ideas if it's just kind of a pipe dream or something that we're just daydreaming about we're not really acting upon this is a time for us to really move forward with it and i think especially in march this may be the turning point and here's why Not only do we have um, the ideas of new self, new world, but we have March 2023. And with that, in numerology, it pairs down to the number one, full of new beginnings. 
And this may be that turning point where temperance says, maybe you'll finally get it this month. Maybe you'll understand my the energy of my meaning this month. March is all about new beginnings. So this this being the first full week in March, I really wanted to tap into not only that idea of the number one, the single digit in and of itself means that it is time to take control of the new beginnings. It is time to really hone in on what you want your future to look like. It's time. This is the month to do it. And it doesn't matter uh, what your personal numbers are. This is just March. This is just an all around general idea of what March 2023 is for all of us. A time for new beginnings, looking at our futures. So with that in mind, we can set goals, we can um, manifest our true, what we want to see. And I think that's another reason why temperance came through yet again, especially in the beginning part of March, so that we can take this throughout March throughout this month so that we can really, really kind of hone in and um, just be mindful of what we want to see in our future, how we can act upon that and what we don't want to see, what we want to let go of. Um, And that can come in many different forms. Um, Throughout this month, let those forms just kind of take hold in your thoughts and your actions now. When we act upon those ideas that we want to see in our new world, our new self, when we act upon that, the universe realizes that that is the actual things that we're requesting. When we're crystal clear on what it is, our dreams, wishes, and desires, our heart of hearts really wants. And we're technicolor crystal clear with that. The universe provides. And with the idea of the new world, a lot of times I hear the the idea in my head, let go, let God. And I totally believe in that. And sometimes we try so hard on the outside world. We're trying to find our purpose. We're trying to to locate our journey. We're trying to do, do, do instead of being and being still so we can hear those soft voices from our spirit team, from God, from our higher self, from our numerous angels and spirit guides, our totem animals, and nature, Mother Gaia, the cosmos, when we are still and we don't, we don't try and find it, we just are it. That is action in and of itself, because even that letting go process is action. When we let go of things that no longer serve us, that is action. When we take the time to do our inner work, that is action. When we just go about our day, allowing things to happen, that's not action. That's being just kind of muddied. That's just kind of staying stuck in what you're used to doing. For number one, It's also a freedom loving number. It requires you to accept your freedom, your free will, if if that makes sense. It's innovative. It's pioneering. It's allowing you to be independent. And that independence is what's going to help you Find your purpose in the new self, in the new world. And just allowing that to be is going to be so beneficial. So to help us, I decided to build just a a unique little grid. Um, And the grid that I put together, it's not necessarily a grid that um, you may have come across for your crystals or I'm manifesting or anything like that. It's just something that it's a picture that I found that really represented 
how I felt that us growing from our, the seed that we want to see our future being, it's a hand holding a little bit of soil and a plant growing from it. And what I've done is I've created a crystal grid for that, for that purpose of us holding that seed, allowing our personal desires, our personal goals, how we want to see ourselves and our new world, and just tapping into that energy. So I've used clear quartz, pyrite, green aventurine, rose quartz, and at the top of it all, a puffalite. It's just a way of raising our vibration, creating that aspect of abundance, using the crystal clear quartz to really be able to tap into what you want to see in your new self, in this new world, programming those clear quartz into that beautiful pyrite that will bring abundance, an abundance of healing energy. Maybe we need to heal things that no longer serve us. Maybe we need to heal the idea of we're not worthy or we're not of benefit, um, anything. So the green aventurine is going to help in that manner as we start poking up through that soil. Then the rose quartz is going to help us bring that love and that excitement and that that higher vibration, bringing the love and kindness. And then tapping into that apophyllite and allowing all of that to reach our causal chakra and that by tapping into that causal chakra, sending out into the universe your manifestations, your law of attraction. What is it that you want to see manifest and sending that up, up, up into the universe to be made manifest. So that is what that crystal grid looks like. And my intention is for us to be able to tap into this month, this month's energy of that one vibration of finding out what our true desires for our future look like, to be able to see the endless possibilities, the limitless possibilities, because there's no end to possibilities. What is it that we can move forward in, in our individuality, that will tap into our future selves, that new self in that new world? What can we let go of? What is it that we can bring into this new world that really shines forth our light? That's really truly what this new world is going to be about, is what we can bring forward. And everyone has their own unique message, our own unique gifts and talents. And this is when we tap into those and we shine those forth for all to see. So for March, March's crystal ally is aquamarine. And aquamarine is a great one to work with, with this crystal grid and with just everything else that we're going through this month, especially working with temperance again or prudence. We are looking at cooling down maybe any of that um, chaos. When we get into chaos, we feel almost like a heat. So aquamarine is going to cool that off. It's going to allow you to feel like you're being washed over with cooling energy. Now, this is also a great stone for the throat chakra and communicating easily and effortlessly our personal truth. So this is a great stone to be working with, with all of the crystal grid as well. And with all of the cards that we're working with this month, aquamarine is going to be so helpful in the stages that we go through each week. Now, some more crystal allies that we can work with. Um, We're going to be going back to that whole idea of balance. I think temperance and balance kind of go hand in hand when um, we need to balance out kind of 
the chaotic energies, the energies that feel like they're just more one way or another. So working with amethyst and tiger's eye is going to be great this week as well. So just if you're feeling out of sorts, out of balance, grab onto some amethyst or tiger's eye, and that's really going to help your, your balance, your your energetic balance that's going to make you feel a little more at peace at a more um, balanced level. And for midweek and end week, we are working with the Starseed Oracle, and that is by Rebecca Campbell, and the artwork is by Danielle Noel. So for midweek, and midweek is Monday through Thursday, or March 6th through the 9th, the card that came through is Surrender to the Sweetness. And the message from the card is Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. This is a wonderful card. And in the beginning of the week, that may be how you feel like it is just pure joy or wanting to tap into that idea of pure joy, being able to work in that space of that rose quartz or that Venus energy and being able to really surround yourself with love and joy, kindness just anything that raises your vibration, anything that puts you in that space of sweetness, things that make you feel sweet and joyful, loved and loving. Make sure to tap into that energy this week. All right, so for end week, and end week is Thursday through Sunday or March 9th through the 12th, the card that came through is, I'm sorry. And the message from the card is defenselessness, writing past wrongs, uprooting. Okay, so that is one thing about doing this work, even for temperance and the work that we are trying to move forward into for our new self and the new world. We need to forgive ourselves. We need to forgive others. We need to be in a place where we can understand and release and let go of our prior issues, writing past wrongs. You may not be able to tell someone you're sorry for your actions. You may not be able to go back and fix something that was done to someone else or even something that was done to you. Does that mean you have to live with it? No, we need to take that burden off of ourselves. And one of the great ways that we can do that is by forgiving ourselves and telling ourselves we're sorry. We're sorry for what we've done. Sorry for the um, the things that we have done to others, um, things that we've said that we just feel terrible about. Telling ourselves. At the time, we just made a bad choice. Everybody does. There's no one that has graced this planet that did not do something that they may feel sorry about. So when we go through the process of wanting to release things, release the idea that you have to be tormented or that you feeling bad is just karma for what you've done in your prior past. We usually do the best that we can at the time. And that goes for everything. If we don't know the right way to react, if we don't know the right thing to say, if we don't know the right way to go, then we do the best that we can. Sometimes out of jealousy or anger or um, whatever it is, we make the wrong decisions and things just happen. We are not meant to have to carry the burden of that. We need to learn, not repeat that, and move forward. And by not repeating that process, you are eternally saying that you're sorry. You're eternally saying that you are trying to be a better person. You're trying to be that new person in which you have really mentally 
thought of that you want to be. So allow yourself to say you're sorry. Allow yourself, even if you want to go into a meditative state, envision the people that you've wronged, apologize, send that for forgiving message that you're sorry and let it go. The green aventurian that I've included with that grid is for these purposes. It's to let go of anything that no longer serves you. And this feeling is no longer serving you. You went through it. You've continually known or unknown beating yourself up over it, but it's finally time to let it go and let it be. You've told the person, place, or thing, you're sorry, and it's time to let go of that. It's time to shed that. You're a different person. You're going to be a new person. You're going to be in a new world. And by living in the aspect of how you want to be proves to the universe and all that are around you that you are changing, that you've changed. You're a different person and you have different ideas and then you won't need to worry about that past again. All right, you take care. Have a wonderful week. And as always, I'm sending you much love, angel light, and tons of gratitude. Take care. I'll see you next week. 